No, no, no. So actually, I actually had a bit of an accident. I see fries with some bell peppers and stuff for five RMB. A lot of emotions have, have like been radiated inside these walls, you know? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Dineson. I'm Dishinka. So, Today guys, we're going to be taking you guys along with us mm -hmm. to our to another campus of our university. Yes. Uh, so if you guys have watched the previous video... Actually our first video. Our first video? Yes. No, actually that was the only video. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was the only, only video that we took in that campus. So that is a much more new year... Let's see. <laughs> much more new... newer? Yeah, is newer, that a word? newer. Yeah, newer. much more newer campus. Uh, but um, we then moved to the city campus, which mm -hmm. is a bit old. Yes. Uh, so today we're actually going back there mm -hmm. uh, because there's actually going to be a football match yes. uh, where our international students are participating in this uh, in this uh, tournament that's yep. been organized by the university. Yes. So various dep different departments in the university mm -hmm. are taking part in this and yes. our international students department is also one. Yes. Uh, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's called the Spartans FC. Can you see? Uh, so the Spartans FC, they are taking yeah. part in this. We thought we'll actually make use of this opportunity and show you around that campus properly. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because we so didn't show around last time. Last yeah. time. So, so we thought we'll show you the canteen yes. as well as the supermarket because yes. they've both been like properly pimped out right now. Yeah. Uh, they've made it yeah. very nice, uh, yeah. better than it was last time when mm -hmm. we were there. Yeah. So yeah, so sit back, relax and hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Tell them what it is. Okay. But first, I'll show them. Tell them. Okay. All right, guys. So these are actually our transport cards, kind of like in Australia how you have a Mikey card. Yeah. This is like the Gonjo version of it. And yeah, how cute are they? Duckies. <laughs> Little ducks. My yeah. one's pretending to be a bunny. Oh yeah, that's my one. That's yeah. the Shinkas. Yeah. <laughs> Here you are. guys so after three trains three, we have oh my God, it's yeah three we took train. three trains after three trains we've finally gotten to the station that's closest to the old campus the Shinzao station not the old campus the new campus. sorry the new campus uh, now we're going to take we still have one more bus we have to take one more bus uh, to get to the destination so en route to that Alright guys, so the bus that we have to take is bus number 85, so the stop for it is right over here. The only people who get on this bus are those going to our university. Yeah, because this bus just goes there, no? no yeah, it, it goes on the, like, on the way, it drops them off, but yeah, the but final stop is yeah. our uni. So, you guys probably have already noticed it. Mm. You'd be like, Vanessan, have you done something new to your face? You know, some sort of cosmetic procedure or something like that? Uh, yes guys, I've actually gotten lip for this. <laughs> No, no, no. So actually, I actually had a bit of an accident. Uh, I was uh, playing basketball with mm. my friends and uh, my lips had a very strong contact with someone's forehead <laughs> and I sort of split my lips. Uh, it actually looked way worse when yeah. it happened because I started bleeding a lot. Uh, but now 
it's sealed. Oh my lips. It's like this is Botox what, gone wrong. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't play without me. I wasn't there. Ah, uh, yeah, Dushinka wasn't there when I was playing. She was yeah. doing some work. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's why my lips look like I've done some cosmetic surgery. <laughs> it's okay, it doesn't hurt or anything. Mm. When I smile, it goes. And then I don't smile. Wait, like, see, stay normal. I know, it's so uneven. All right, guys, so to travel by public transport here, uh, we can either use an app on the phone to pay for whenever we make, uh, whenever we go on the public transport, or you can get one of these cards and then top them up as you go uh, and pay for your public transport. Uh, but, the, but the good thing about this card is why we think it's better using this one is so every month, if you have done at least 14 trips, so any trips, 14 trips, from the 15th trip onward, you get a 40% discount. Yeah, baby? Yeah. yeah 40, you get a 40% yes. discount on every trip. So let's say this month I've already done 14 trips and now it's my 15th trip and it's going to cost me 2 RMB. It won't be 2 RMB, it'll be 1 RMB and 20 cents. So we actually learned it from one of our good friends, Govin. So shout out to Govin. Uh, and yeah, so that's why we use these cards instead of using the phone. Alright guys, so we did wait for the bus, Yeah. Um, but turns out the bus was never coming again. Yeah. It was <laughs> so just like... Usually there's a bus always. Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. There's like around like, I think at least two buses that run. Yeah, so once one goes, the other yeah. one will come. Yeah. But this time the one went... And it never came back. <laughs> come back. Uh, so, so usually for those kind of yeah. cases, there's always like this sort of caps. Yeah. Uh, what they do is like they charge you three RMB per person and mm. they'll come, like they'll collect four students in one car mm. and they'll come and drop you out at uni. Yeah. So we just took one of those and we are finally here at our beautiful campus. Okay. Oh. Take a look, take a look. This is it guys. The Panyu campus of Guangzhou Medical University. Guangzhou Ikadashi. Yeah. Let's go inside and show you guys more. Come. So, I think the university has become quite strict these days, guys, because like, without the student card, they rarely allow anyone inside. So, we need to have student cards. Yep, and we are in. I think post COVID, they became very strict in like, uh, who gets to enter the campus and not. Uh, but yeah, so let's show you guys the campus a bit more. So I think there's some event happening here today guys like there's a lot of these like stalls that's been like put up oh, I think it's like to do with spring. it is because no they put it on the group which group the Panyu group or something that oh, there's okay. some like singing cultural kind oh, of event okay. happening today oh my god look at these little parasols Ooh. what's a parasol baby? an umbrella oh, look at these umbrellas <laughs> uh, and then there's lights being put up so I think by the time we finish the match these might, lights might be up, no? Yeah, I think we might be able to see what's yeah. happening here. So, this campus. If we get to see it, we'll let you guys yeah. show. Sorry. If we get to see it, we'll show it to you guys. I was saying that I missed the space. Like, guys, look at the amount of space here. Like, like, this in is. You, so, you can't even turn around, like, yeah. properly over there. Yeah. But and so, this building behind, guys, so this is where we used to have classes, like, uh, some lab classes, I think, we used to have, no? All our lectures as well. Oh, oh uh, the building, oh, not this part, but the building goes like way down there. Yeah, way yeah, so, up. so we used to have the lectures in the other end, and this end we used to we have, have uh, laboratory classes. Laboratory classes and yeah. stuff like that. The buildings are quite good. They're very new. And, and they're so big. Exactly, yeah. It's six floors. No, six floors. Six floors. Six and floors, yeah. they just go down until the other end. Yeah. Oh, this is a big setup, no? Like they've yeah. got like lights and stuff. Oh, and they're practicing. I can show you. Over there is our library yes. and this is our man-made lake that you see here.
it's a gloomy day today, so you really can't see the beauty. One thing is, like, it's, 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 most of the days here are gloomy days. It's hard to get a nice, I know. clear sky, sunny day. If you get it, it's one of your luckiest days. But exactly. yeah, these days, it's just been gloomy, gloomy. Like, no rain, but it's just it's so, dark. Yeah, it's so dark. <laughs> because normally, like, I, I actually have a lot of, like, beautiful pictures of this campus when it's nice and sunny. Because everything just seems a lot more greener. Like, exactly. right now, like, mm, grey sky. Everything is grey. Everything's grey. We are grey. Yeah. Sweetie, show them my jersey, the back part. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, there we have it. The Nason number 23. Which uh, number, like, what's the inspiration by, behind the number? LeBron James! Uh, uh, it's actually, I, I usually go for 6, but then 23 is also a good number for me, so... What's his current number? 6? Six? 6. Okay. He used to be 23, right? He used to be 23. Wasn't it Michael Jordan's number 2? Yeah. Yeah. Another person. No, just Michael Yeah. Okay, let's get going. Come let's on. Go, let's go, let's go. Should we go this way or that no, way? No, no, this way. It feels good, right, to be back. Yeah. It's it's a long journey to come here, but how long did it take us, baby? Like one, one and, and a half, half hours? hours. Yeah, one, one and a half, half hours. hours yeah. But it's always nice to come back. I mean, this was our home for three years. For three years. Yosho is like a. It, we're not very attached to it, that campus. We because, will be by the end of. The oh, year. by the end of the year. Yeah. But at the moment, this campus holds a lot of memories for us. So much, like. We used to have all our exams in these buildings. Oh my god, exams. The stress that we go through during those weeks. Oh like, my god. Uh, I mean, because like, oh, we used to have like, not just like, it's not the set like, oh, four subjects, four exams. We had, one time we had... In one semester, semester we had, we had like, like, eight like eight subjects. Eight subjects. Eight subjects. Oh god. So, a lot of emotions have, have like been radiated <laughs> inside these walls, you know? <laughs> Crying, hey, no, no, sadness. No. Why, why cry? Oh, you didn't feel like crying? No, I didn't. Okay, oh. fine. <laughs> but we got to got them all done. Mm. at the moment guys but once that bell hits five o'clock it's going to be all uh, there's going to be like an influx of students like on this bridge <laughs> we take this bridge all the time guys from here yeah? oh yeah yes. the dormitories are like it was like can you see that building over there yes that's the dormitory so we usually walk like that and then down there and then come this way and then we cross the bridge exactly sometimes you can see the fishies too yeah. let's see if they are around you can see some but i don't know if you can capture them the camera up there there's like two over there oh yeah we can see them can you see? Yeah. Oh. Before all this one starts, they already start. I know, no. I think their teachers are dismissing them. No fire. We'll go to the canteen first? Yeah, we'll go to the canteen. So we'll go to the canteen first guys and show you because I think it shouldn't be that busy right now. No, um, I, yeah. Because once it hits five o'clock, that canteen, like it's, it's hard to take video in there, I think. So we'll go and show you guys the canteen first. Yeah. And then we'll show you the supermarket. And this is a bit that we actually showed in our video, our first ever video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We showed here. Yeah. If you guys haven't watched it, please mm -hmm. go check it out. Oh, yes, it's yes. It's called Vlog One. Vlog One. Vlog One. Guangzhou Medical University. University, yeah. Yeah. 
Also, fun fact, guys, I broke my phone on this road one time. Oh my god. Basically, yeah. we finished playing basketball. I had my phone in my pocket mm -hmm. and I was dribbling my ball on this hand. Some bad luck or some coincidence. When I bounced the ball, the ball came back and hit the bottom of my pocket and then the phone just came out and then boop! Oh, dear. The screen's gone. Is that really what happened? That's actually what happened, baby. Oh yeah. my god. It's, it's like some like bad luck. Oh. But I guess now, even though it's gloomy, mm. it's nice and green, no? The trees? Yeah, yeah, the trees are nice and green. Nice colours. As you can see, I think this is the team that we're playing today. I'm not sure. Wait. Can you see these boys going? Yeah. I think They're well, going for the match, but I'm not sure if they're... Yeah. Because there's technically going to be four teams playing at a time. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is actually a half-court game, guys. A so half-football field. A half-football field game. So it's um, eight people per team mm. and 30-minute halves, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Is there going to be like overtime like the World Cup? Game? No, I think it's a table table thing. So they'll just give if you if it's a draw, I think it's one point each team. Oh, no, I mean overtime, like you know, like when people. So if it's draw, that's when like overtime they only give if they have to finish the game with a winner. Oh. If they don't need a winner, no overtime. All right, guys, canteens here. Let me show you. All right. So here we have guys. Yeah, so why is it so big of a building, baby? Well, it's got four floors, guys. Whoa! Each floor is basically all different kind of food. So first floor is more your Cantonese dishes. Second floor is like specialty. You've got like halal, and then you have like the roast meats. You've got like the cheng fan, the special noodles. Third floor, third floor? Third floor also specialty. You have like dim sums Ooh, and yes. stuff. Yes, dim sum, clay pot rice. Yeah. And then fourth floor, well, That's a surprise, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll... You guys have seen it. Actually, we well, have shown them. Yeah, yeah, if you watch it. We'll, we'll show you it again. Yeah, yeah. More in depth. Hopefully, the, um, the food stalls are open now so we can show them the food. Yeah. Let's show the first floor first. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. Did, did you know in Chinese, canteen is called shi tang? Ah. Shi tang. Shi tang. Wonderful. Disclaimer, guys. Dushinka hates the first floor canteen, by the way. I'm gonna let you guys know this because she does not. I mean, she likes Cantonese food, but not the one at uni. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I'm all go. You know, I'm all fine I, with I it. I hate is a strong word, by the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I don't because that it. is true. <laughs> you did hate them. No, no, no. I, I don't. Uh, no, she's just not a fan. She's not, not a fan, a fan of the Cantonese Cantonese. food, but uh, the other she is. Okay, yeah. you know what? Everything is here, so let me get, let me show you guys. Yeah. So they have like some tofu dish, guys, for four point five RMB. Some green pepper with some cauliflower for four fifty, and then, and then like we've got some pork with like green peppers again. For yeah, five. for five fifty. Mm -hmm. Oh, chicken! So this is guys like uh, garlic chicken. Uh, it's not spicy, but there's a good flavor of garlic in this. I usually go for this one, so that's for 6 RMB. We've got some bok choy, some meatballs, uh, or some fish. So this is quite famous here. Uh, I think it's 13 RMB. Uh, it's the whole fish. Me and Dushi has never had it before because we're not good at uh, tackling fish. Uh, but yeah, but it's quite famous and people like it. Uh, and then we have here. Oh, we got like some sweet and oh, sour pork. So they have some sweet and sour pork here. I think it's for six RMB fifty cents. Yeah. Oh, this is quite famous, guys. So this is yeah. actually tomato and egg, yes. uh, and it's for four RMB. This is also one of my go-to's. I really like them. Uh, we've got some. Is that spinach, baby? Spinach and egg for four RMB. Yeah. And then anything else new? Some broccolis for I don't know how much. Hi, this is how much? This is 4 so this is 450 guys. We've got some omelette here. Yeah. Uh, this is how much? This is 5 cents. 5 cents. Okay, 5 cents. so if you get for two pieces, yeah. you get uh, for 5 RMBs. Uh, again, so bokcha. this is like go-to guys. I think this is usually free. If you get like yeah. rice and stuff, you usually get this portion like free, you can ask. Um, yeah, and the same stuff. Oh, and then also another type of fish guys. It's like devil fish, uh, fried devil fish. Uh, but yeah, this is also quite famous and some cauliflower dish. So that's pretty much it guys. So it's usually like a very, it's a very local cuisine. Uh, not much spice and stuff. No baby? Yeah, no spice. Yeah, no spice per se. Uh, but yeah, but I do have my favorites here. Like I told you, the chicken garlic, that's very good. The sweet and sour pork. I oh, my that one to. is good. Actually, the one she has tried that I as well. think the Panyu campus does the sweet and sour pork much better than much you. Better, yeah. than you so that's good as well. Um, and then they do have some like I, I do like the spinach and eggs as well. 
egg and tomatoes so those ones are all good and I would recommend them. Alright guys, so we are at the second floor right now. Yeah. So firstly, we have the halal section over here and come. So we'll start off with these. So they actually have some yes. fries here guys. And they do it really well because it's got like a nice... It's like flavored spicy yeah. fries with some bell peppers and stuff for 5 RMB a portion. And then this is some... Is it chicken? Yeah. Chicken. This is some fried chicken. Uh, there's some fried chicken diced with some bell peppers for 8 RMB a portion okay. and then there's like a chicken curry chicken curry like dish um, I actually do recommend this as well of course it's not like it's, it's a different type of um, yes. curry uh, it's for 6 RMB a portion egg and tomato again tomato that's like standard for 4 RMB some eggplant Plant. Highly recommended. Eggplants, yeah. they, they're very, actually very tasty for 4 RMB. Oh, and also they do their fried chicken so well. So well. Guys, like their fried chicken is really good. So this is one piece for 6, six RMB. RMB. And guys, I don't know how many of you all likes cucumber or zucchinis, but these are so good uh, for mm. RMB for a portion. So this guy, so we call them halal, uh, mm. mainly because it's actually which from which province maybe? Xinjiang. So this uh, cuisine style is Xinjiang province style. Yeah. Uh, and I think because most of them are Muslims over yeah, there, yeah. Uh, that they have halal food. So yeah. most of our friends uh, who like, come from Bangladesh and stuff, yeah. they always go here because the fact that it's halal. Mm. Uh, we go there because we just love the taste. Yes, the taste is good. And it's, it's like very, very close to home yeah, in terms of flavors. Yeah, and they spice and everything is home, Exactly, so. so we always go here. So yeah. if you're coming to China and you hear about this food, definitely try yeah. that. I highly think that you would like it. Yes. Yeah. Let's see the other stuff now. So guys, this is like, you have like the hand washing area. You keep like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have hand washing, then you also have like where you keep your cutlery and everything after you've eaten. That's over there. Over there. And then there's like a ton of places to sit. So there's like, so every floor is this big yeah. guys with all the seating space. Exactly. And when you come at the right times, like when okay, the, in the peak times, it's usually all packed guys, all, all packed. This is how it is. My favorite things to have, especially during the winter seasons here, is to have like soup basically like a hot pot kind of soup but not hot pot flavored it's like a nice chicken broth you get to pick your ingredients i think i showed that as well in the first, the first video. video yeah that's how we had so, oh, so there's also like so there's a sheng fang section over here guys so, uh yeah it is yeah so like six rmb for beef uh, pork. Pork, pork. and then this is uh, pork's intestine chicken. egg uh, ah, egg and then you have uh, prawn then you have fish, fish. uh beef yeah uh, egg, I have no idea. As you guys can see, it's like yeah. definitely like reasonable prices. Yeah. Like, what do you think, maybe? Like, oh, definitely, definitely reasonable, reasonable since it's university. Yeah. Also, guys, they do omelets here. Oh, I'm yeah. not sure. I think these are the prices for the different types yes. of omelets uh, with some minced with rice. meat. And it comes with rice, by the way. Oh, yeah, it comes with rice as well, guys. Yeah. This is something that's very, very good, and we've actually tried it a lot of times. Uh, so yeah, they do omelets. Yeah, and the omelets, like you know, like here, like they have it like with pork. With beef and then prawn and it's very reasonable and it yeah. comes with rice it comes well. with rice so and it's i think vegetables as well and like bok choy or something oh yeah, I think yeah yeah they do yeah yes. with yeah, cabbage or bok choy as well so yeah so this is like the hot pot not hot pot like a soup section guys yeah. so you come here you take a basket and then you just choose whatever you want uh from these vast variety of selection and also they even have not just one type of noodle but many types they have actually many types of noodle guys let me show you guys See, yeah <laughs> like typical instant noodle if not like right thinner like vermicelli kind of one and i think it's like an egg noodle yeah as well. And then tell them about the purple one, sweetie. Oh my god, they have a purple noodle as well. Yeah. This so one, just like this one, but green. it's and purple. They have a purple one and a green and one. And a green one. As well. I'm not. We're not sure exactly if there's a difference in flavor, but but it's beautiful. Yeah. And, <laughs> and also then, afterwards, you can add your like a uh, diced spring onion, chili vinegar, or soy sauce. You can add. These well. are to die for, guys. Yeah. Too good. This I think this to your soup makes it so much next, next level. level. Next level. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then you come and give it to them over here and they will weigh it and then you pay for according to how much ever you uh, got and then yeah, they'll boil it in a soup broth and give it to you. Yeah, roughly I would say cost between, I mean, 10 to 30. Alright guys, so welcome to the fourth floor. Where the party happens. Yeah. Firstly, we have our bakery over here guys. Assortments of cakes. Guys, check this out. We never used to have this variety before yeah. COVID. 
but now they just literally brought outside inside like you know you can buy bigger cakes as well you can have orders and then guys look at these mochi cake, cake macarons, macarons or, cream puffs. or cream puffs and then like biscuits and items Croissants. Before R&B. Yes. Oh, guys, let me show you another interesting one. Oh, by the way, this is the famous pineapple bun. This Very one? famous. How much is it? This one. It's only three R&B. Three R&B, guys. Let me show you a very interesting oh. looking pizza <laughs> that we have. So what pizza do you guys think this is? Yeah, let us know in the comments. We'll let you give you a chance now. Let us know in the comments what do you think this kind of pizza okay. is. So this, guys, is... Blueberry pizza. <laughs> blueberry. It's actually blueberry pizza, and yeah. I think it's eight RMB for a slice. Yeah, for a slice. Uh, yeah. It's nice, guys. I've tried it. We got hot dog buns. buns for uh, five. These are nice as well. Yeah. Uh, for five RMB. Well, egg tarts for oh, yeah. three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> three three, three, three. <laughs> what is it? Three and a half years old. <laughs> and then, guys, the biggest thing, like the, one of the biggest thing they did after the bakery, is they actually. Uh, gave us our own bubble tea shop. Exactly. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> this is like you get, yeah, like you a get legit, legit. yeah, because this is an actual brand, guys, that you find all over Guangzhou. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's not and like a university no, specific. No. Yeah. Then, so they have like strawberry selection, guys. Uh, some fruit selections. What was the drink that you got here? It's a taro one. Oh, and I, then I actually got a taro drink over here. It was so so good. Guys, like when we actually got back here and we saw this, we were in complete awe. Like you and were just in shock. We were in shock. I, I couldn't even no, believe no, it. I just couldn't believe that such a floor we just exists. Completely upgraded it. Completely, completely upgraded. Yeah. Uh, another okay, so one. This is another favorite spot of ours mm -hmm. that we found uh, when we came here. This guy is actually like a what do you call it? Like a fruit shop. Yeah. Fruit okay. Shop. Where you get to get like a small like uh, cup and yeah. you get to select like uh, fruits and also. Like jelly and custard and stuff. So like people make like a mixed bowl. Uh, so come check it out. So we've got like. We've so got guys, like, you can see like the jellies. Look, you got taro, taro mango, mango jelly, and the, the squishy ones. <laughs> and then <laughs> and mocha then, jelly, grass jelly. Yeah, mocha jelly. Sorry. Mocha. 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 Matcha jelly. <laughs> Matcha jelly. And then I feel like that jelly just oh, your favorite jelly. That's just like clear jelly. Sago. Sago. Oh my god, guys! They even have like taro. This is like, like yeah, oh, this is oh no, this is ube, right? What is that? I, think I don't. I think it might be taro or ube. Not okay. sure. Red bean. Red bean. Coconut jelly. Coconut jellies. And like yogurt. Oh yeah, yeah. Yogurt. yogurt. And also they have passion fruit uh, syrup. Let me take you guys so around. These are the boxes, guys. Yes. So oh. these are the containers. Uh, yeah. Oh, they got as well uh, basil, like in like how do you say? In Sinhalese, you call this what do you say? Kasa kasa, yeah. but it's basil seeds. Basil seeds soaked in water. Yeah. So soaked in water, passion fruit syrup, syrup. Uh, like mango popping. Popping pop. Yeah. And then you got raisins. Cap oh my god, they got peanuts. Peanuts as well. Also, yeah. Oh, and, and then, then all selection of fruits guys. I mean like look so at this. Fruits. Like you can see right now as well, they're just stocking up the I think that's uh, like blood orange. Yeah, blood orange, yeah. And you got kiwi, you got dragon kiwi, uh, uh, kiwi, kiwi, <laughs> kiwi. Kiwi, dragon fruit, pineapple, pineapple watermelon, uh, papaya, green mango, star fruit, rock melon, rock melon, mangoes, mango, yes. apples, pink guava. Yeah. And Cherry tomatoes. cherry tomatoes. So usually, guys, what they do is so we take a bar, like a like a plastic mm -hmm. bowl, and yeah. we just put whatever we want in there. Yeah. Uh, and then there's like a weighing scale, so they'll weigh it. Yes. Uh, and then it's according to the price. Mm -hmm. Now, many of y'all know, hopefully by now, that I don't like fruits, but when it's nice and cut and kept like this, oh. easy to eat, and when I get to put some jelly mixed with that and like mm. some yogurt on top yeah. of it to have it. Coconut yogurt, by the it's way. All, it's all, it's yeah. all game. It's all game for me because I really, really love you guys. Yeah. So this is something that I think I've, I've not seen anywhere else. No. This sort of like mixture with like, you know, you can have fruits and jellies and I'll mix it together. Uh, but if you guys come across it, definitely try it. Very, very nice. Yeah. 
And then last but not least guys, they didn't give us McDonald's but they still gave us our own burger joint. Yes. Okay? <laughs> they gave our own burger joint. Chris. Uh, usually those days, if you wanted fast food, we either had to Waimai from campus or we had to go outside like 20 minutes mm. uh, by cab to get But now we have our own burger joint. This is the beginning of all the dorms, yeah. guys. Basically, uh, this is our what, corridor to heaven. heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look, guys. Yeah. Here Yay. it is, guys. Building Yay. number five. five. <laughs> yeah. So this is where we used to live, guys. We lived here for three years, guys. Three years. In this very building over here. Yes. So It was the international like dorm building. So check this out, guys. And your milks, yeah, as well. There's more here, a lot of variety. Yeah, so yogurt drinks. drinks are quite famous here in Guangzhou, guys, like in different, different it's forms. This new drink, mango pomelo. It's a mango pomelo drink for, wait, for six RMB, guys. Ah, uh, the Shinka's favorite, all different types of sun kiss. Oh, I love this. How much are these here, baby? Oh, four, four RMB. RMB. Four RMB each. Guys, check this out. Check this, okay? This is, okay, Mirinda, pineapple, and passion fruit. I've actually never seen this anywhere else. I haven't seen it either. But and I think my favorite would be this. I haven't tried it yet, guys, but check this out. Wait, what is it? It's coconut and... I don't know what this is, but it's coconut. So as long as yeah. it's coconut, I'm sold. <laughs> oh, and then the 7-Up. Oh my god, yes guys. This is, let me show you this. It is a mojito flavored 7-Up, guys. I mean... And it, it tastes amazing. It tastes amazing. And look at how pretty the can is. Too pretty. It's so pretty. It's grapefruit, yeah? It's grapefruit, yeah. Grapefruit. And it's 3 RMB, guys. 3 RMB. 3 RMB. And guys, Gatorade. One thing that I was very surprised over here. So Gatorade, I think in Melbourne, is like $3 a bottle. Mm. Okay, if I'm not wrong, it's $3 a bottle. Gatorade here, guess how much? 5 RMB, guys. Mm. 5 RMB. I think it's because they produce it here. I think they make it here. Yeah, but 5 RMB, guys. So 5 RMB is what? Like, like a dollar. A dollar something? Okay. Check this. Starbucks drinks, guys. Cheese latte, Americano, cafe latte. ten fifty each. The bread items. bread items. Yeah. Mason, I think I need to film you for this. I, I love bread, guys. Yes. <laughs> I love bread. I love bakery items. Please. Say, okay, I'll tell you. Okay, yes. I'll tell you my favorites. Okay? Yes. So this one right here, guys. Uh, it looks like the cross, like croissant. Uh, no, pan. Pain au chocolat, pain au chocolat. Uh, the French one, uh, but it's not. Oh. <laughs> it's actually pain au red bean. <laughs> okay, because it's just like um, uh, the chocolate croissant that we get in France, but yeah. it's actually less pastry, more bunny. Mm. Uh, but it's got red beans spread inside. I love this, guys. So this is actually for RMB, yes. and I really, really love this. I actually have tried this, and I really recommend this one. Also, I don't think there can be any foreigner who has come to China and not mistaken red bean for chocolate. For chocolate. Okay, no, chocolate for red bean. Chocolate for red bean. Because yeah. most of the items you think, like the first time you look at it, it's like, ah, it's the chocolate inside. Yeah. No. It's, it's but, red bean. <laughs> but there is an item that does have chocolate inside. So. It's actually this croissant over here. Ooh, let's okay, get I've closer. tried this as well, and nice. it's very, very nice. Uh, this is five RMB, guys. Um, yeah, it's basically chocolate croissant uh, with a nice chocolate filling inside. This is highly recommended as well. Come. Basically, guys, for these are uh, well loved here in China. Okay, so they're uh, are they meat sticks? Right? It's not meat though. No, this is like tofu. Tofu, right? yeah. Yeah, so it's like spicy tofu sticks, guys. Yeah. Okay, and people love them. They love snacking on this. Five RMB, guys. Especially like when having like some like a beer mm. and like this, people love. It's like snacks. Snack. This is the whole like the snack section. Yeah. These kind so of they snacks. have a new type of lace, guys. Oh my god! 
What is it? It's a spring limited edition. What is it? Oh, it's crayfish? It says like crayfish. Crayfish lace. Yeah. Uh, and then another one. Oh, this is a Korean squid balls. <gasps> oh my god, octopus balls. The no, octopus balls. balls. Oh my god, really? oh my god. Let me see. Let me see. What else? What is this? Is that British pie? It's beef wellington, It's a guys. beef wellington lace. <laughs> it's beef wellington lace. <laughs> what is happening to this world? And guys, basically, they also have their other stuff. Like, you know, you need to have essentials. Essential. Like, your shampoo. These your are creams, baby. Top. Instant noodles. <laughs> Instant noodles. So many. Yeah. Alright guys, so the game just finished yes. and the Spartans FC have won the game. Yes. What was the final score baby? 4-1. 4-1 guys, okay, so that was a very good yeah. win. Uh, yeah, so right now we're just heading out, um, mm -hmm. going to go back home now. Yes. But we'll see if the party thing is still happening and if it is, we'll show you guys a bit of it. Yes. And then we'll outro. Yeah. Alright, stick around. Hey guys, so this is the next day morning. Yes, I think you can clearly see. <laughs> see we are, we've changed drastically. Yes. Uh, it's just that, yeah, we came back home late last night mm. and we were very tired and mm. we forgot to shoot. Actually, the truth is, we forgot yeah, to shoot the forgot. outro. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so we thought we'll shoot it right now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so we really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and found it a bit informative in terms of like you know how a canteen is at the university yes especially or, in china what it's like yeah exactly. and uh, what the environment is also like of chinese universities exactly and also well. like the supermarket yes and what kind of fun stuff they sell yeah. uh but yeah really hope you enjoyed this vlog guys and if you did please like share and subscribe to our channel and until next time guys bye bye